hello today um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to divide using strategy so it's kind of similar to multiplication because it's the inverse so I'm gonna go ahead and write division right here division is when you div you have a total amount of something so it could be um, I have 20 marbles or I have 30 pencils just you have a total amount of something and you're dividing it into equal groups okay when you get into the upper grades um, it won't lo no longer be equal groups but in third grade this is where we introduce it so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you an example let's do 32 divided by 8 okay So when we divide, we always put our labels just up as we did it with multiplication, but this time it's the reverse. So instead of groups, you're going to start with your total, okay? So T is the total. You have a total amount of something. So for instance, let's say 32 represents our books, okay? We have 32 books right now. Next will be our groups. Okay, so for eight, we can say we have eight boxes. And then the last label will be in each. So remember in multiplication, we label starting with our groups in each and we're looking for the total. But when we're dividing, we start with the total. That's something you have to remember. So dividing is the opposite and the labels stay the same okay so now that I have my total I have my groups I'm trying to figure out how many books can go in each box so we're gonna start with groups I know that I have eight groups so I'm going to draw eight circles Charlie can't play right now sorry Charlie wants to play <laughs> okay so we're trying to figure out how many goes in each box well, we don't know, but we do know we have 32 books, so we're going to start tallying up. So remember to tally nice and neatly in each group so that you don't mess up your counting, okay? If you start doing tallies like that, it's kind of hard to see where the tallies are. So you're going to make it nice and neat, okay? And make sure you start at the beginning group and then just go in order. Don't start tallying here, here, here. It doesn't make sense. It's just going to throw you off, okay? So we're going to count up to 32, and then we're going to stop at 32. So let's count with me. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Notice that I just keep going in the same order each time. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I stop at 32 because that's the total amount. So I had 32 books. I sorted it out in each box to see how many we have in each group. So let's see. Well, I see I have four in here. I have four in here. Four. So it looks like we have four in each box. So that means we have four as our answer. Okay. Let's say, um, let's say you had four in each box and this one had five. Well, that means you miscounted somewhere, so you have to start all over. And it's okay to start all over. You know, just erase all these groups and do it again. It's <clears throat> it'll help you get the correct answer instead of making the same mistakes again. Right. So when you're dividing, you're just dividing things up into equal groups, okay? So that wasn't too bad, right? Okay, so let's do another problem. Let's do 27 divided by three, okay. So the first thing we wanna do is label, okay? What does 27 represent? Well, 27 represents our total. That's our total amount. 27 what? 27 dogs, 27 papers, okay? Next, we have our groups. So G is for groups, and we're looking for in each, okay? 
So you have to look at what information is given already. Well, we have our total, we have our groups. We don't have in each, so I don't know how many goes in each group. In multiplication we do, but not in division. So I'm going to draw three groups. Again, we're going to tally it up, okay? So we're going to stop at 27. So let's start with the first box. Go ahead and count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. If you take a look at how I tallied, I counted really slowly. I didn't go too fast because if you go fast, you might mess up with your counting. And each tally I put in each group was on the same spot so that it doesn't look messy. It's nice and neat and organized. So now we need to figure out how many goes is in each box. So I'm going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, it looks like we have 9 in each, so 27 divided by 3 equals 9. So that wasn't so bad, right? All right. So let's do another problem, but this time I want you to pause the video and then I want you to try it on your own and then unpause the video to check to see if your answer is correct, okay? So let me put a problem up here. Let's do 24 divided by four equals blank. Okay. Remember, label first, okay? Look at the symbol. What are we doing? We're dividing. That's the division symbol. So that means we start with our what? Our, starts with T, our total. Go ahead and write this equation out and write, write the labels. Total, what comes next? Our groups. And then we're looking for in each, okay? So go ahead and pause the video. I want you to try it on this own for yourself. And then when you're done, unpause the video and then check to see if your answer is correct, okay? Go ahead and pause the video right now. All right, um, let's go ahead and start. We have our total, we have our groups. Well, I know there's four groups, I'm gonna go ahead and draw that. One, two, three, four. We don't know how many is in each. We do have a total, so that means we need to tally up to see what we get in each, all right? So I'm gonna start with my first group, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I stop at twenty-four. That's our total. Now, what do you see? How many's in each? One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And so six is our answer. I hope you got that correct. <laughs> um, dividing is not too bad. It just takes a lot of practice. So what I want you to do after this is come up with your own problems or look online to see the internet or go on Education Galaxy to work on some division problems or have your parents come up with some division problems. I could give you, uh, I'm going to give you a list of problems that you can work on. You can have your parents check it or you can email me or contact me and then see where your answers are, okay? So go ahead and write one, two, three, four in your paper. I'm going to write the problems out and I want you to work on them. This will be your uh, practice. So let's do 21 divided by 3. That's the first one. Let's do 16 divided by 2. Let's do 36 divided by 6 equals blank. 48 divided by 8 equals blank. Okay. Go ahead and write down these problems on your paper and I want you to solve them. This will be your extra practice. Remember to label. The labels will help you solve um, the equations. So remember, total comes first, groups in each. Okay? If you want, you can use a different color pencil, marker, pen to label it. That way it, it won't be the same color. Go ahead and label each of them for each problem. Okay? And then when you're done, if you could submit me the answers and then that and show me your work, that would be wonderful. But I hope you learned a lot today. So I'll see you guys next time. Okay?